In this video, you'll learn how to set up subscriber tracking for your LinkedIn ads. Subscriber tracking is critical for feeding data to analytics tools and ad platforms to optimize your ad campaigns. In this video, you'll learn how to set up a Google Tag Manager account, set up a trigger that captures signups, and set up an ad in the Ads Manager. Let's get straight into it. First, we'll be setting up a Google Tag Manager account. Google Tag Manager can help with tracking events in specific user actions like clicks, video plays, downloads, or in this case, subscribes. To set up an account, go to tagmanager.google.com and make sure you're logged into a Google account. After you're signed in, click on create account and fill out the details on screen. Under account name, I'll add the name of my Beehive publication and select the country I'm based in. Now under container setup, add your publication's website URL and for target platform, select web. Now you'll be redirected to your Google Tag Manager workspace where you'll see a code that starts with GTM in the top right corner of your screen. Make sure to copy this code and log into your Beehive account. Now go to settings, website, and analytics and paste in your code where it says Google Tag Manager pixel ID. Now that we've done that, we've deployed Google Tag Manager on our Beehive website and now we can start tracking specific user events like when someone subscribes. Now that you've set up your Google Tag Manager account, it's now time to create a custom signup trigger. We need to tell the analytics tool that the event we're tracking, a subscription in this case, has occurred. This trigger will help more accurately track signups to your newsletter, which is likely the conversion metric you'll be measuring when running ads. To add a new trigger, click on triggers on the left-hand side of your Tag Manager workspace and click on new in the top right corner of your screen. Now name your trigger. In this case, I'll be calling it subscriber signup. Now click on trigger configuration and scroll down and click on custom event under other. For the event name, type in signed up and make sure you type it out exactly as shown on screen as it is case sensitive. Now, when we're running an ad, we can use this custom event or trigger to track signups. Now it's time to create a LinkedIn tag. To do this, go to business.linkedin.com and click on view marketing and then on get started. Now, when you're logged in, click on analyze in the sidebar on the left and click on conversion tracking. Now click on data sources, create source and insight tag. And then click on, I will use a tag manager and you'll see a partner ID. Just make sure to copy this for the next step. Now go back to Google tag manager and then click on tags and click on new. Here, I'll name this tag LinkedIn Insight Tag and click on Tag Configuration. From here, click on Discover More Tag Types and search up LinkedIn. Now, click on LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0 and hit Add to Workspace. Now, where it says Partner ID, paste in the Partner ID you previously copied. And next, click on Triggering and choose all pages from the list of triggers. When you're done, hit Save. Note that it may take up to 24 hours after someone visits your page to see the status of your tag switch to active. If you want to save yourself some time from copying and pasting your LinkedIn Insight tag whenever you need to use it, you can create a variable in Google Tag Manager so you can easily reuse it. To do this, go to Variables in Google Tag Manager and click on New. Now label this something like ID-LinkedIn and click on Variable Configuration. From here, choose the constant variable type from the list of options. Now paste in your LinkedIn Insight tag and hit save. Now, when you need to use this LinkedIn Insight tag ID anywhere in Google Tag Manager, you can simply type in two curly brackets followed by the name of the variable. To create a curly bracket, just hold shift and the bracket key. Now, the last step is to create a conversion event, which in this case will be a subscribe. To do this, go back to LinkedIn Campaign Manager and go to Analyze and Conversion Tracking. Now click on Conversions and Create Conversion and Insight Tag Conversion. Here I'll name the conversion Subscribe and also choose Subscribe from the drop-down menu. For value of the conversion, I'll set it at $0 and hit Next Step. Now for a conversion tracking method, select Tag Manager and scroll down and click on Event Specific. From here, you'll now see your partner ID once again and a new conversion ID for Google Tag Manager. 
make sure to copy this code and head back to Google Tag Manager. Once again, in Google Tag Manager, click on tags and create a new one. And here I'll name this tag something like LinkedIn event dash subscribe. Now click on tag configuration and select the same LinkedIn tag that you used earlier. Now under partner ID, you can type in two curly brackets followed by the insight tag ID variable that we made earlier. And for event ID, paste in the conversion ID you just copied. Finally, under triggering, select the subscriber signup trigger that we made earlier in this video. Once you're done, hit save and then hit submit in the top right of your page. Now let's actually go set up an ad. This is how it'll look like. Go back to LinkedIn campaign manager and click on advertise in the side. Now click on create campaign and make sure you're on the advanced mode and name your campaign. Now under group objective, select website conversion, then hit next. Now fill out the details of your campaign and locate conversion tracking. Here you'll select the name of the conversion event you created in this tutorial. And that's it. That's it for the video. You can check out the playlist below for other subscriber tracking tutorials for platforms like Meta and X.